Hello and welcome to Movie Trailer Rankings, where we take a closer look at the latest movie trailers on the internet. Why? Because we love trailers. And if you love trailers, you are in the right place. We're going to review trailers, we're going to score them, we're going to rank them, and we're going to stick them on a leaderboard. So if you want to see more content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button, and you will get notified every time we produce more content, which is on a pretty regular basis. Today, we're taking a look at the new Steven Soderbergh movie, Kimmy. Do you want to know where it ends up on the leaderboards? Stick around and find out. All right, here we go. Kimmy? I'm here. What time is it? It's 7.26 a.m. Kimmy? I'm here. Call Dr. Burns. I got her. What do you want from me? Kimmy? I'm here. Why don't you run from me? Call Darius. Hey, hotness! Wow. What are you wondering? What do you know? Kimmy? I'm here. Reopen last stream on desktop. I need more kitchen paper. Open yesterday's stream. I'm a voice stream interpreter. I may have heard a crime on one of the streams. The devices pick up lots of things. Just mark this degraded audio and delete it. I am not capable and you know it. I think a woman might need help. How do I find out who she is? You need a device number and the admin code. Will you make me one? This is the last favor, Cotness. Close your files, come to my office. We'll listen to the recordings together. Miss Childs, I have to know what we're dealing with. We're dealing with what sounds like a premeditated murder. How do I know that? Because I just told you. Twice now. Maybe you've just replaced your real stresses with this. Can we please call the FBI? I understand that you have taken some mental health leave in the past. Why is that in my file? She said you had her. They did. But now they don't. Kimmy, get timelines. Is he the only copy? I emailed it to everyone I know this morning. Kimmy, I'm here. All right. Hey, well, if you have not been to this channel before and you want to know how it is that we come up with our scores and our rankings, you can click in the upper right hand corner here. We made a video that explains our whole process and uh, check that out and then come right back. So let's take a look at some of the critical non factors that go that, that we see when we look at the Kimmy trailer. And um, some of these, I think, are things that we're going to see in other trailers as well or starting to see in more trailers. I'm going to call the first one a pandemic fever, and that is just we've we've all been locked inside for so long. There it seems like there's a, a dearth of movies coming out that are people in their homes going stir crazy, seeing things that maybe they don't know are real. This whole rear window kind of thing that's going on. We'll probably talk about that again in a, in a few minutes, but th I'm going to call it just this pandemic fever. You know, things that play off of our uh, our sensibilities whenever we feel like we're stuck and in, in sort of caught up in, in a, I guess it's like a cabin fever kind of thing too. Uh, so we're going to set that aside. That's something about the movie. We can't, the trailer editors can't help that. Uh, we're going to try to set that aside. Another thing is this sort of hacker stereotypes. This is a bit of a pet peeve of mine. Anytime you're dealing with a very technocentric story, which it appears that this is, and and you have sort of there's always a hacker friend who can just do any it's like magic tech uh, and that's not to say that there may not be in the film good uh coherent explanations for everything that's being done but oftentimes this filmmakers can kind of lean on um some of the 
maybe ignorance of the audience, the people who don't know how technology works and, and it just turns the hacker, the hacker friend in air quotes there into uh, just this magician who can do anything. And, and you see it time and time again. So I'm hoping they don't rely too heavily on that. Whether they do or they don't in the film, we don't want that to affect our review of the trailer. We're going to set that aside. And then also it seems like, um, especially in the wake of some of the whistleblower complaints and uh, the stuff that's in the news about some of the big tech politics, uh, it appears that this film is touching on that. Whatever you think about those things, we're going to try to set those things aside too. The question here isn't whether these things are part of the trailer or not, but how do they use them? How do they not uh, use them? We don't want those issues to affect the trailer, but we do we do want to recognize that they need to, the editors had to, some work to do when it came to these issues. Okay, let's take a look at the scores. And uh, overall, I, I would say this is sort of a m- mediocre uh, effort in, in some regards, better in others. I, this is sort of like one of those all-in-your-head kind of thrillers that I think gets a little bit too straightforward of a cut for the trailer. And it's doing very little to sort of push the conspiracy themes that the film seems to be built around. Um, the narrative shows us the plot, but does very little to hook us beyond these rear window tropes. You know, the, the person's stuck in their house and they see their neighbor commit a crime and they want to, you know, are they crazy? What's going on? We're seeing a lot more of that, like we said, but um, the trailer itself isn't really selling us on that. It's just showing it to us. So instead of relying on the title cards to sort of build the tension, we'd like to see more of that in the way that the trailer is cut. The story of the trailer, the narrative aspect of it, is basically summed up in the first shot. And I think that would be girl in danger. Uh, That pretty much is what you see from the beginning to the end of the trailer. And so it really comes down to the lead actor. Uh, Do we find her likable? Because that's what the trailer is showcasing. And fortunately, I think the performances look like they may be pretty good, particularly uh, Zoe Kravitz. And the trailer really gives her space to shine. I don't think that's any coincidence now that she is the new Catwoman in the new Batman movie, I suppose. So that may be a a strategic marketing decision on on the part of the editors here to sort of ride a little bit of the coattails for the Batman movie and and her rising fame. Uh, That happens a lot. And I think also when it comes to the music, I think it could be more engaging. I know this is a, some popular music here, uh, but it's it could be doing more to up the tension. I don't know that it's really driving that home. Overall, I think this has the feel of a sort of a fun rental on a night where maybe you kind of run out of things to watch. <laughs> so, and that's they're probably hoping for a little bit more than that out of this trailer. But uh, what we're gonna do is add up the scores. The trailer for Steven Soderbergh's new film, Kimmy, is going to get a 6.1 out of 10. All right, that's going to do it for us today. We'll see how it sits on the leaderboards for the week, for the month, for the year. Let us know what you thought. Did we get it right? Did we get it wrong? Leave us a comment below. We want to hear from you. Until next time, we'll see you.